James, reportedly you were offered $50 million to stay in late night television. I know there were things you want to do and you were talented and you've, you know, you've acted on TV. I mean, it, you, your, your, even your career direction wasn't a late night TV show host. But that's a tremendous amount of money. The decision to leave the show is, is based on so many, there's so many factors that it, it's, it's pretty impossible to, to drill it down to one. And, and really, for my wife and I, we always knew, and we said this like four, four years, five years ago, we were like, when Max, who's my eldest son, when he finishes sixth grade, that is a real moment for us where we knew and we always felt and I've always said that to move 14, 15, 16 year olds around, you know, even if we went coast to coast or internationally felt unfair at the point when he is, would be forging his life of his, you know what I mean? Making friends, deeper friendships, deeper connections. It felt very, very unfair to us. So we knew that, that this was a decision that we would have to make where, and then our, you know, our daughter after that is eight and our youngest daughter is five. So if we were going to stay, we'd be staying in Los Angeles for 20 years. We'd be here for 20 years and that would be it. And so that is the absolute crux of the decision is where do we want to raise these, these people that we've brought into the world? These, and in truth, like our, my family, and I, I think this might resonate with you, but like my family has walked to the beat of my drum for like 12, 13 years now, right? Where, you know, I'm going to do a play in New York. I'm going to shoot this over here. I'm going to be gone for a bit. And, do, you know, and really for us, it was like, where do we want to raise our children? There are people at home who are getting older. And we really felt that during COVID. And I think everybody felt that's not even, even if your family were two states away, you felt it, you felt cut off from everybody. And there was a couple of health things that, that came along that made us just feel like there are too many signs here telling us to go home. And so look, if I allow myself to think about the financial aspects of walking away from this, it does, it makes my chest tight because who would, I get it. I get it. Why would you do such a thing? But then the truth is time with my parents to be able to to be able to call my dad on a Thursday and go, what are you doing today? And he say, nothing. And I say, do you want to go for lunch? That is a feeling that I'll just never, ever, ever get back. And one day the, the time's going to come and it's not up to us when that is or when we choose it. But the phone's going to ring and that option's not going to be there anymore. And to have missed out on those moments in exchange for money doesn't feel like a good decision and i i'm so aware of time i feel like time is time is playing tricks on me in a way that i am deeply uncomfortable with i feel like my son learned to ride a bike yesterday you know right and i just feel like it is it is a feeling of going we've got to if we don't jump now and if not now when and that's really what it came down to. Uh, 